us came to this earth, to this existence, into mission of grow as individual, to master our passions and desires, and become the best version of ourselves. Whatever you are in this path of self-development, growth, discovering, and evolution, this podcast is for you. Come and join me in this amazing adventure of becoming someone greater than we were yesterday. Welcome to the Path to Become podcast. I am your host, Patricia Barrier, and I'm honored to have your company in this journey. Welcome everyone to one more episode of The Path to Become. Today, we don't have just one amazing guest. We have two. We have Mary Siddiq and Alexis Lenihan. They are high performance coach and business consultants. Welcome girls. Thank, Thank you for having us. We're so excited to be here. I am very excited to have you two here because like we are talking a little before, I love those podcasts because I can learn so much. And sometimes for me, it's like a selfish service. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Where I learn and can share this, you know, knowledge with everybody that is listening. So I know that you guys know that I have my ongoing question. Okay. And my ongoing question, it is like how... A high-performance coach, in the case that you two are, can help a woman that is on her path of self-development to become a better version of herself and make her family relationships stronger. Who wants to start? Go ahead, Alexis. Yes, absolutely. Um, so when when somebody is working you know if they're in self development personal development um for us that first step often starts with getting really clear on where you are and i think a lot of people make this mistake and go straight to the goals of what they want to become where they uh you know what they want to achieve but when you start with self assessment and really look at where are you now um before moving on to where you want to go, that helps to sort of set a foundation and really start to uh, examine what's working for you in your life and what's not. Um, sometimes that can be a really gray area. And you just think, well, I do it. I do this this way because it's how I, I've always done it. And we don't realize that it's actually not working for us. Maybe it worked for us 10 years ago. Maybe it worked for us when we were a student. Maybe it worked for us before we were a mom. But now those strategies are no longer serving us in our new role or where we are now. So for me, that self-assessment uh, piece is like the foundational starting point. Um, and then we can, you know, start to look forward to where we want to go and the direction we want to take our lives. Yeah. yeah and, and just to add to that, Patricia, a lot of the clients that come to us, they'll be like, but I really don't know what it is that I want. Mm -hmm. So then we start having them list out all the things that you don't want. Start from you know, the opposite. I what is it that this technique as well? Yeah. It is so good. Yeah. And then start writing out like the things, like 15 things that you absolutely have to have for your life. And then narrowing that down to just five and just focus on that. And don't move on to anything else or don't let anything else get into your way until you have, have accomplished those five goals. Oh, that's good. That's important yeah. because for me, and I'm talking for myself, I have this clarity where I'm right now, where I want to go. And, but at the same time, I have this pop of ideas. I want to, you know, improve all those areas and play 